Once the RMS Berengaria was one of the proudest ships of Britain's mercantile fleet. Now she too must go the way of all ships to the breaker's yard. Dramatic were many of the Berengaria's voyages. Dramatic is her passing. The largest ship that has ever been condemned to be broken up for scrap metal. Though the years have condemned her, she passes with a dramatic climax into the mists of Jarrow. She has been bought by Sir John Jarvis under his scheme to help the depressed areas of Tyneside. Not only will her breaking up bring work directly to hundreds of men, but as the scrap metal becomes available, it will be passed to other industries that have been set up on Tyneside by Sir John. So before the Berengaria finally passes, she will have brought two years' work to nearly 1,500 men. Sir John Jarvis, the man who has brought a happy Christmas to Tyneside. The arrival of the Berengaria this afternoon is a symbol that at long last, Jarrow's ship has come home. The last voyage of a famous vessel is always a sad occasion, but there's another side to the story of the Berengaria about to sail from Southampton to her scrapyard on Tyneside. The auction is in progress. Who wants 500 lifeboats marked SS Berengaria, or a nice lifeboat for summer cruising? The old Berry is berthed at Jarrow, and her furniture and fittings are under the hammer. Step onto the captain's bridge and look over the bows of the grand old vessel. It's perhaps the last view you will have of her. In the smoking room, where hundreds of pounds were won in the auction pool on the ship's daily run. And down in the swimming bath, the marble hall where you could swim before dinner if it wasn't rough. Anyone want a font? Who could do with a font? You, sir? Mark it down to the gent with the glass eye. It's full speed ahead on the job of breaking up the Berengaria, and our cameramen arrive just at the dramatic moment when the first of the funnels is to be brought down. Oxyacetylene blow lamps cut through the base, and in a moment you'll see it topple over. And as it crashes to the deck, it flattens out, just like Mother's pancake when it misses the frying pan. There it goes. It's hard luck on the Berengaria, but it's work and wages for the depressed areas. And when it comes to breaking away, a good example is the breaking away of the Berengaria's forward funnel of the Jarvis works at Jarrow. And down comes another contribution to the melting pot. The steel plates of the giant vessel are too large for transport in their present form, so men skilled in the use of the oxyacetylene burner blaze a way through. A powerful electromagnet exerts its fatal attraction on the steel and lures it into a large skip, and a locomotive ushers it into the works for the next process, into a large shed of stark metal and blazing fire that looks like a modern inferno. The immense heat will soon reduce the metal to a molten state. After a sample has been taken, the white-hot metal is decanted into a steel ladle and then poured into moulds for castings. A veteran ship is starting life all over again. Thank you.